Good day, everybody. This is B. Abrady and Dawn, and we got the Valentine's Banner trailer dropped. Uh, I was at work, and then I had some stuff when I came home, so I'm just reacting to it now. Um, we already know who's on the banner. I remember seeing one very terrible kit, which was a Wayne's, because I saw Blue Flame. And I, I've heard that Krom's skill is busted, like the duo Krom, so... Considering it's a duo, I'm kind of excited. Let's go. Because you know me, I gotta have every duo, am I right? Lucina! This is a festival of love, isn't it? This is my chance to show everyone just how Armor! Okay. Oh, that's Savvy Fighter. Okay. Um, if a movement assist skill is used by unit or targets unit, future vision, grants neutralizes foes bonuses during combat to unit and target ally or unit and target targeting ally for one turn. If foe initiates combat or if foe's HP is greater than 75% at start of combat, grants spectrum plus 5 to unit during combat, reduce damage from foe's first attack by during combat by 40%. <sighs> She's got a lot of damage reduction. So we got 70% damage reduction. Well, not true 70%, but, you know, the 40, 60, 30. Let's do the math here, okay? So 40%. That's 60 remaining. And then 0.3% of that is 18. So that's 42% remaining. So that's 58% damage reduction. Damn. Uh, Kestrel Stance, no one cares. Savvy Fighter, a new fighter skill, enters the ring. Ding, ding, motor checker. Okay. If foe initiates combat, neutralizes effects that guarantee foes follow-up attacks and effects that prevent units follow-up attacks during combat. Uh, so, if you... Okay, that's, that's like... Hardy Fighter. And also, if unit speed is greater than foe speed, minus four, reduces damage from foe's first attack during combat by 30%. Damn, that's a crazy good skill. Neutralize effects that guarantee foes follow-up attacks and effects that prevent units follow-up attacks during combat. And also, if unit speed is greater than foe speed, minus four, reduces damage by 30%. That's crazy. That is a crazy good skill. Wow, okay. And near save. It's the bad near save, so no one really cares. Lissa! No, it's Robin. The hairdo always throws me off, I'm sorry. Colorless tone? Colorless armor tone? Fire save. Fire save. Okay. Attack, defense, fire save? That's still a bad save skill. Like, attack, defense, fire save is kind of trash. Defense res near, defense res far. That's where... The money lies. Any other save skills trash in comparison, for the most part. So accelerate special trigger, cooling combat is one. Grants effects based on the number of movement types on the current team. If greater than one, inflicts attack, defense, rise minus five on foes within three spaces during combat. If greater than two, reduces damage to foes first attack during combat by 30%. If greater than three, when unit deals damage to foe during combat, restores five HP to, uh, to unit. What? Grants. Oh, to unit. To unit and allies within three spaces of unit during combat. So everyone gets like a mystic boot, like a mystic boost heal within range? That's actually kind of crazy good. So everyone's just going to be healing. That's great. So if greater than three, so they get attack defense res minus five on foes within three spaces. Reduce the damage foes first attack by 30%. And grants. Let's go. Uh, even follow-up is just bad. Like, the odd and even follow-up skills are just trash. And attack, defense, far save is kind of pretty bad, too. But hey, save skills. This is the save skill banner. So far, two out of two units have save skills. Let's go. Ding! Iceberg! 
This would be a good banner to summon every unit on, you know? Oh, yeah. Heart, I have been reborn as the warrior of love and flowers! Uh, uh, is that how it goes? Uh, never mind. I do not really care for only much. Wait a minute, what is this? He teleported. Ah, Wings of Mercy. Piercing Tribute. Photo Shoots Combat. Ooh. Sorry, guys. In Photo Shoots Combat, our foes' HP is greater than 75% to start combat, grants attack speed plus 5 to unit, and neutralizes effects that guarantee foes' follow up attacks during combat. Okay. Blue Flame. Wings of Mercy. He's pretty bad. <laughs> He's a demo. What do we expect? Okay, let's check out this duo. So, here's what I find interesting. The other units are pretty damn good on this banner, but I keep hearing Krom is the broken one. Let's find out. I know nothing about their skill sets, their kits, their duo skill. I got nothing. That is clean artwork, though. Close Salvo. Okay, so it's extra attack power. Cool. Uh, Destiny's Bow. Acceler- wait a minute, was he in armor? I think he's in armor, yeah? Behold the power of love! I just want to double check. Because I'm pretty sure they're armor. Valentine's duo. Armor. That makes sense. Oh, infantry. Okay. Okay. So they're in for the rest of the banner is armor except for Owain and the duo. Okay. A gift for you. Hang on. Okay. Destiny's bow. Accelerate special trigger. So this is just power crap legendary Krom. Effective against flying and armor. If a movement assist skill is used by unit targets unit. Dude. Ooh, grant special cooldown count minus one to unit and targeting ally or unit and targeting ally. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants special plus five to unit during combat, and unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. So this Krom's probably going to be slow as hell, but he's going to hit like a freaking freight train. To change fate, when targeted, grants another action to unit, grants attack speed, and for one turn, it inflicts isolation on unit, pair of cohort, yeah. Deadeye, cool. Close salvo. Unit can counterattack regardless of foe's range. At start of combat, if you use its HP is greater than 25%, grants attack plus 5 during combat. But after combat, if unit attack deals plus 5 deals five damage to unit. That's an interesting skill, so it's an attack boost. Cool. And times pulse. Nice. So, the kit's not crazy, so it must be the duo skill, right? <laughs> Okay, let's see. Grand strategy? What the frick? Okay, let's let's give me a minute. Inflicts attack speed, defense, res minus five on unit and allies within two spaces of unit through their next actions and grants grand strategy to those units. Grants the following effect from one unit to unit for one turn. Foe cannot make a follow-up attack. Wait, what? Whoa! That's weird. Okay, so they basically get it. Unity? Is this a freaking Unity duo skill? Okay, it flex spectrum minus five on unit and allies within two spaces through the next actions and grants grand strategy. Grand strategy is grants bonus to attack speed, defense, res during combat equals current penalty of each of unit stats times two for one turn. If unit has a minus seven penalty to attack, grants attack plus fourteen for a net bonus of attack plus seven. Calculate each stat bonus independently. Units' negative effects that last through units' next action will remain in effect until the status is neutralized. Duo skills, blah 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 blah. Okay, let me check the. Let me let me check the thing. Let me check the unity skills because that sounds a lot like unity, and a unity duo skill is just stupid. I can see why they were saying this unit's busted. A, a freaking unity boost, a unity duo skill that just. AoE is just crazy to think about. Okay. I am just need to find Marianne, because she has a speed one. Okay, let me check. Yep, 
Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's a it's a unity it's a unity duo skill. It's a spectrum unity duo skill. That is stupid. That's so stupid. Oh my god, this unit's gonna be dumb. Let's go. I'm excited about this. This is a crazy freaking duo. So because so year one duo was infantry, year two was armor, year three is infantry. So next year should be an armor duo for Valentine's, theoretically. I'm grateful to you. Think of the plan. Let's talk about our feelings. That's crazy. Oh, hey, did we see the speed stat? I think we did. Right in here. Okay, so he's got... Wow, his stats suck. He's got a lot of defense, though. So this is with the duo skill procced. So this is plus 5 to everything. So he's got 58 attack, 27 speed, 26 res... And 40 defense, so he's very attack defense buff. His res stat doesn't really exist, his speed stat doesn't really exist, but it doesn't really need to. So he's there to make to basically one shot you, especially with Deadeye. Dude, that is brutal. Okay, let's see what the rest of the banner says. I don't think it's anything important. So I think we already know who the free unit is. Melissa, yeah. <clears throat> and then yeah, Sparkle will be a fate pass. Okay. So all in all, that's a pretty crazy banner. It's got some pretty solid skills, and um, yeah, expect a summoning session on this banner, I guess, next week. I'll probably do a summoning session when the banner's out. Done deal. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction, and if you did, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, this will be on signing off. Bye. See you, everybody.